When it comes to installing exterior trim over a rain screen, penetrations are an area that you need to pay a little bit of attention to. So what we're going to need to do is create an escutcheon block, but we need to provide solid backing for this to be affixed to. So in this case, we're going to cut small pieces of our 1x3 strapping and install them as support for the block. After the backing is installed, I can go ahead and install my block. It's not a bad idea to add a piece of rigid metal head flashing over the tops of your escutcheon blocks. Instead of screws in this scenario, I've installed with 15 gauge stainless finish nails, which I find to be perfectly acceptable in the field. In this case with the wire coming out, we clearly have to pad out in order to bring the block out to the face of the siding. You can see I've simply added some pieces of 1x3 here in order to create that needed depth. One of the benefits of having this space in between the sheathing and the back side of our block is it allows us to move our block a little bit when it comes to making our install. So like this, we can move our block up and down if necessary while coursing out our siding to make sure that our lines of our siding align with our block for a clean presentation. Another step I like to take is to make sure when I'm installing my blocks before doing siding is that I level them up so that when any of my cuts come into the sides or over the top, they're square and parallel for a nice install.